Greetings everyone, this is me, the Ninja Viri here, time for day number two of the 12 days of anime. I apologize that this one was a bit late uh, due to some news that dropped yesterday and I bet you pretty much already know what it is because Twitter and everything else has been trending it like crazy because of what may or may not change the internet for the next few years. Um, <coughs> Uh, yeah, so I had a bit of a mix of emotions yesterday, but I'm mean, actually no I mean even though day two is officially like today at least still in my time I want to record it early in advance, but I'm recording it late due to because of that. I, I wasn't really feeling myself Okay, I didn't really sound right, but you get what I mean. I wasn't feeling like myself. There we go <laughs> I don't know why I said feeling myself uh, Sorry, but anyways um so basically, yeah, um, because of that news, I had very mixed emotions, and I didn't really feel like myself doing the video. I was just, at first, I was pretty pissed at the news. I was pretty pissed. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, fine, I might as well just spell it out. Net neutrality. I was pretty pissed off exactly what happened with the news yesterday. I mean, I was more, I, then I got a little more calmer. I started to think a little bit more positive, so with that in mind, wasn't really the best of mood of combos for me to do a video, but you know what? After dedicating to that time of day, I decided, you know what? Since today's a brand new day, start off fresh, start off positive, and we'll continue to move forward down the way. But until then, here we are with day number two of the 12 Days of Anime. Day number two is me going to be reviewing a movie that, well, I haven't got around to it yet. Now, this movie came out in theaters around the beginning of this year actually around january and did it come out to dvd and blu-ray around like in may and i am talking about the one piece whoa monkey d luffy and uh yeah don't mind the antler thing on chopper i got a little messed up hi hi anyways so chopper can go right there so i figure since there is no one piece chapter this week, uh, not until the next following week. Uh, so I decided, you know what? My, why don't I just review this movie right now? Because I might as well just get out of the way since I am making like 12 videos like every single day up till the Christmas. I might as well just actually review this movie. So without further ado, let's get started. So One Piece Film Gold. Now when it comes to One Piece Film Gold, the story is is that there is a island that's basically all about the wonders and funs of entertainment, of gambling, partying, drinking, pretty much just having a good time. Just basically, it's a think of it as like Las Vegas in the pirate world, pretty much. And that's basically what you get with uh, the casino run by Gran Torino. Uh, Gran, what the fuck? Gid Tesoro, that was his name. Gid Tesoro. I don't know why. For a second, I was thinking of Tortino's, Tortino's Pizza, but it's fucking... Weird. Um, Gil Tesoro, which is basically the head honcho of this pirate gambling island. And what happens is, is that he actually has a devil fruit power that could turn everything and in, in everything into its will into gold. And I mean, everything is made of gold. Gold on his chains. Gold on his ring. Gold on his watch. Don't believe me, just watch. And I don't want to go any further and say the N-word. Anyways, so you pretty much get what I mean. So, with this dude, he actually can make gold everything, pretty much. And with his Delphi power, is so incredibly OP. It reminds me of, like, Dolphin Mink. Like, I believe he has an awakening. I mean, this dude really does have to have an awakening. Because, you know, we have, like, one scene where everything is just, like, in this, like, gigantic... Loot, like this guy just gigantic uber waves of fucking gold so obviously this dude has a devil fruit awakening which i think is obvious kind of like similar how to flamingo does and with his power of the bird cage which is pretty damn incredibly powerful so it kind of reminds me a little bit more of that but getting on to it when it comes to this movie overall what i really did love about the movie was the actual adventure aspect we got in this now compared to i would say strong world this one was pretty much more better i mean this right here should have been strong world because honestly even though i really did enjoy strong world it was actually a, a really good movie but it wasn't like my most favorite movie out of all of them i don't know that's just me i mean it was a really good movie but it wasn't like you know like my favorite or anything like that like 
you, you know, it's pretty much one of those like typical, you know, dance on the stress, you know, kind of thing. While stuff like Film Z, which is still top tier, oh my god, excuse me, dude, top tier, yo, 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 Z, baby, Z, one of the best movie villains of all time, don't fight me on that, man, I don't really care, yo, this dude is definitely my favorite movie villain of One Piece, of the One Piece movies, definitely top tier villains. Now, but I would say this dude will have to be more of second favorite. Sorry, oh. Grant uh, Grant Tesoro has to be like the, my second favorite because Grant uh, Tesoro, you know, his Devil Fruit Awakenings are just unbelievably powerful. So you know, just seeing that in action was actually really cool. But anyways, getting onto the topic. So what's going on is that they've been invited to this actual mysterious place, uh, to this actual island, and it looks like there's some you know some strange stuff going on. Like, being like, you know, you know, could it actually be like a trap or something like that? Or, you know, something else. Now, you know what's... Now, so either one, it's a trap. Or two, basically, it's just, you know, there just to have, you know, a fun time. Although, it may not be so easy after all. Because, especially since they are pirates after all. So, you never know what crazy adventures are going to happen. You know, like with marines and etc, etc. But getting back on topic. I won't really spoil this movie, like, way too much, though. But... And of all the One Piece movies, I say this would be my second favorite One Piece movie because what I liked about it, again, the adventure, I really liked. The comedy, of course, as always, very funny as hell. Love the comedy in this movie. The comedy is spot on. It's really funny. And also, there's a lot of, there's a lot of Easter eggs. Yeah, a lot of surprise little Easter egg cameos that you will find in this movie. Uh, not going to go into it too much if you're a One Piece fan. Yeah, definitely not going to go in way into all these, like, Easter eggs, but you'll see for yourself. And when I noticed it, I'm like, yo, I'm like, for real? So I was like, oh, man, that was cool. And, uh, of course, what makes this movie my second favorite is because I'm such a big fan of Rob Lucci. Rob Lucci, baby. Because Rob Lucci is in this movie, it's like, dude, come on. How can you say no to the Rob. How could you say no to this dude? CP, well, zero now, but CP9. And yes, a lot of returning characters as well. Well, obviously, because if you've seen the trailers for the movie or look at the dialogue, you, or the, you know, the actual background of the story, you pretty much know these characters like Sabo. You notice that he's going to be returning in the movie. You got Sabo, Rob Lucci, and many others as well. Not going to really go into other characters, but they'll be in as well. And it's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, if you're a big fan of, like, uh, other certain characters, th there are other characters besides Sabo that do make an appearance. So, don't worry, you get to check that out, too. So, yo, it, it, it's pretty awesome. So, like I said, the cameos um, and some of the hidden surprises are really neat, too. Again, Rob Lucci in the building. Let's go. Um, but, however, though, you might be a little bit disappointed with certain things between like Rob Lucci and so far like yeah don't get me wrong it's awesome scene in the movie but you might be just a tad bit disappointed on what you know what happens afterwards but anyways yeah not gonna really get into that too much um what I also liked about this movie too of course the animation was beautifully well done obviously it is a movie production it is a movie production pretty much anime so obviously Toei is gonna step up their A game when it comes to this movie and you know it actually does look really gorgeous uh everything from the backgrounds and i think probably like now toshi had like a little bit of work in this you know as well as you can tell you can obviously tell especially during some of the fight scenes which looked really good hand drawn as well so we have that and then and then also uh the fights oh let's talk about the fights the fights in this movie were just awesome i loved the fights in this movie. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I mean, the Zoro, the Zoro with the dice, dude, that was pretty cool. Uh, Sanji's fight, though, yeah, I mean, the fights are pretty good, too. I did enjoy them for the most part. Uh, Chopper and Usopp's fight, I wasn't, like, a big fan of, but Sanji, of course, the main three trio, does actually a really good fight as well. So, you know, really enjoy that stuff there. So, the fighting was actually really good in this movie. Um, really enjoyed that a lot. I mean, I wouldn't say, like, the plot. Now, the plot to the movie isn't really dark or deep. Like, it is sort of like, you know, with, uh, with Film Z was. But, I will say, though, when it comes to 
an actual exciting adventure, something that you know you get out of like that's what you call in the in the in the cult of main villain. That's what you call entertainment, and yeah, it was entertaining indeed. But it was also pretty damn great as well because it had like so many cool moments in this movie as well. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, it wasn't perfect, and some stuff did drag out a bit longer. But overall, though, it's definitely my second favorite One Piece movie, and the final fight will not disappoint you, even though. Yeah, actually no, because it wasn't perfect. There were certain fights that could have been better, or certain fights that were sort of teased, but they don't show it, which that really pissed me off as well. Especially one particular fight. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I'm like, no! I really want to see that, but of course, it's just a clash, and I'm like, oh, why? Oh, so that right there really disappointed me. So I had to bring it down, bring it down the house, you know, with that. But regardless, so everything about uh, about the movie, I did really enjoy. So yeah, One Piece Film Gold. Uh, if I were to give this movie a score, um, and to me, there are certain scenes that do sort of drag out, you know, like just a bit. Where I don't know, I think they just could have been better on like certain pacing issues or whatever. When it comes to that, but overall, if I were to give this movie a score, probably an 8.5. Yeah, definitely an 8.5 out of 10. It was definitely a great movie overall. Definitely an 8.5 out of 10 would definitely deserve the score, at least for me. So yeah, definitely my second one pi uh, favorite One Piece movie. A uh, second, excuse me, not my new favorite, <laughs> my second favorite One Piece movie right here. So that's pretty much it. So when it comes to that, um, overall, um, I do recommend it. If you're a big One Piece fan, I say definitely go check it out it is definitely a movie i of course i recommend obviously um if you haven't seen or caught up with the series kind of recommend you do that first especially because they do give away big spoilers especially when it comes to the involvement of the manga of the story about like certain events that do take place so again if you don't really want to know then you might as well just speed rush speed blitz through the series and then come back to film gold so that way you'll know exactly what the hell is going on. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of the One Piece film Gold. If you have seen it, if you're a One Piece fan, what do you think of it? And I know I forgot to put my hat on. I totally forgot, but I was like, nah. Anyways, so that's basically it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, hope you guys enjoyed my second day of the 12 Days of Anime. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Click that bell to join the squad, boys, to get notifications of my video. Also, do not forget to follow my social media plugins, very important, plus my gamer tags as well. So, peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky, got in a root, ha 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 ha, is the limit. And my manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch. And yeah, I'll see you guys for day number three. See you all tomorrow. Bye bye.